TCU visits Kansas this week. Kansas on a three-game losing streak, and they had a better than 70% win percentage in all of them. Sorry, better than 70% post-game win expectancy in all of those games. And the reason why they are losing is because they are number 127 in turnover margin. Now, TCU is number 108. So that's not great. They're number 100 in giveaways per game, number 107 in takeaways per game. Kansas is number 126 in giveaways per game. It's it's almost like you can bank on it with Jalen Daniels now. Uh, you can trick him into giving you the football. They are number 86 in PPA per pass, number 104 in pass rate. So they're only throwing the ball 43% of the time. However, they are number 40 in passing success rate. It, easiest way to tell this, they are number 100 in scoring opportunities per game. They are number 13 in points per scoring opportunity. So when they get down there, they're actually getting the ball in the end zone. It's just that they're not getting there very often because they're putting their defense in a terrible position by giving the ball to the other team so much. So uh, on the other side, TCU, they are number seven in scoring opportunities per game, but they are number 77 in points per scoring opportunity. That is not good. Uh, of course, Kansas isn't great at defending it. They're number 68, but that's still better than 77th, obviously. So uh, this is a tricky game, but I, I trust... Like, it's strength on strength, really. TCU can't run the ball. They are number 128, but they don't even try to. They're number 129 in uh, rush rate, so only running the ball about 36% of the time. Number 133 in rushing explosiveness, but they can throw the ball. They're throwing the ball 64% of the time. They're number 15 in PPA per pass, number 30 in passing success rate. Uh, they don't allow a lot of havoc. That's certainly good. Kansas' defense, though, is number 27 in PPA per pass. You look at these, uh, the five factors plus talent rank, TCU is more talented than Kansas. I There's something, Parker said it best, right? He tweeted out last week that Jeff Grimes will have to answer for what he has done to Jalen Daniels, and they're just not scheming guys open as easily anymore. So the fact that this is Kansas minus one and a half, I'm going the opposite direction. Uh, give me TCU plus the two. I think they win the game outright. Uh, there is a two out there, so I'm taking that one. TCU plus two on that. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and follow me on Twitter, at GaryWCE. If you want to toss in a question, you can email me, Gary, at winningcureseverything.com. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.